Hi guys, I hope you all are fine. Uh, today I want to teach you how to install the Kubernetes in your Linux machine or over the Winikube installation. So let's go for the installation of uh, Kubernetes. So before that you have to just check the uh, Docker services running on your Linux machine or not. So for because uh, Kubernetes use the Docker uh, behind the uh, scene. So first of all you have to check the docker services is running or not in your machine. So here I haven't installed the docker uh, in my Linux machine. So very quickly I am just going to be install the docker in my machine. So I am just creating a docker repo and just uh, copy this uh, docker repo in my Linux machine. So just paste it here and uh, once so just go for the yum repo list i now updating the repo list uh, uh, because i have created the new uh, docker repo so it will check it so you can see it's uh, it's have been checked it's now readable via yum command so after that we will go for the installation of docker then we will go for the uh, installation of uh, minikube uh, or mini, uh, kubernetes and then we go for the kubectl command to install in linux server so my yum repo have been updated now i am going to install the docker ce community edition there are two types in uh, docker so one is the enterprise and another one is the community edition so i am installing the uh, community edition now my says to yes so i am just going for yes so now all the packages uh, have been installing now whose process is ongoing so let's it's very quick i believe uh, after that we will uh, start the docker services so first of all we because uh, before installation of kubernetes you have to confirm that the docker service is running in your machine or not because if the docker service is not running in your machine uh, so the kubernetes will not work because Kubernetes depend upon the Docker uh, system. So, so my Docker have been installed in my uh, Linux machine. So I am just going to start the services of Docker. So now it's, uh, it's command of start the Docker services in your Linux system CTL start Docker. So I am just giving this command to my machine. So so my docker service is uh, started so let's check the status of my so it's now running now we will go for the installation of kubernetes uh, from via minikube uh, installation so we have to install the minikube in linux server for first of all so just you can go on uh, google chrome and type the minikube installation so just click on the first link and you will come up on land it on the kubernetes to tie your docs uh, website so just go on there are three flavors are available to installation the minikube uh, linux os mac so you can go as per your demand or as per your requirement so i am just going to install the uh, minikube in the linux one so here is the command to learn learn the uh, to install the sorry to install the minikube so just copy it and uh, i'm just paste it hit here so it's now installing or downloading the minikube uh, uh, from the internet for your resource so now the command have completed uh, after that you will go for the next one there is the one uh, another command to create a, a user bin directory uh, for the via mkidr command then install the minikube uh, on via uh, in this uh, path so let's now it's uh, done so it's another one to uh, alternative way to install the minikube so we have not going over there so you just start the minikube ctl start minus minus driver it's a driver option here come up so we are going installation uh, driver via uh, VM so for that we will go for the none uh, otherwise if you are going with the Windows system so for Windows you have to install the virtual box in your machine first of virtual box in your machine first of all then you will go for the driver of uh, virtual box you can write it here 
virtual box so let's go for the install uh, minikube start let's see uh, i'm just starting it it says that uh, you have to using if you are using minikube within a vm because it's my vm machine so and centos machine and i am installing the vm in it so you have to go with the driver with the mine hyphen space minus minus none so i am just going this parameter let's see now it's again in sorry the kubernetes required this package to install in the root part so you have just installed this uh, install this uh, parameter or package so it's now installing this uh, uh, package on my system so let's after installation we will go again with the same option uh, this one so let's see install this again so now you can see the my mini cube is, is, is starting now its os is releasing in centos 7 it's running in local host cpu 2 memory 3785 and uh, disk space is 15870 mbs so it's running the machine it's preparing the doc kubernetes on my docker that's the reason which i have told you to install the docker uh, in your linux machine before going to install the kubernetes or mini cube in your machine uh, so let's uh, so it's now creating uh, my preparing the machine so let's uh, so my mini cube services have been uh, configured in my machine it's a configured local host environment so uh, now see we can see the status of mini cube uh, so status so now you can see it's running running and configured uh, properly so after that you will go for the installation of uh, mini cube ctl command which is very useful command in kubernetes so for that you will come up uh, on the install cube ctl and go with this uh, link and after that link you can go with the first link this is the download latest uh, one so i am just copying this command and uh, paste it on my machine so it's now downloading the kubectl command uh, from the internet and uh, it will be over with you so now it's uh, kubectl command have been installed in my machine properly uh, so after that you will give uh, downloaded it uh, in machine on my machine so you have to make it executable make sure and uh, for its move on the uh, same path which we have used for the mini cube and let's check the version or client version because it's a client command so now it's working fine so now we have configured the kubernetes and uh, mini cube and uh, three things we have configured in this video so first of all we have configured the docker one then we go for the mini cube then we in, in the end we have installed the kubectl so uh, my kubectl command have been uh, installed uh, now we will go for the uh, testing or what uh, our code is running or kubectl or mini cube is configured properly work or not so for you have to just uh, launch a one uh, port so i am just uh, launching the one port that will run my web that is my web minus minus image and it would be uh, sorry it may be a uh, uh, my image name is here uh, you can download my image it here from uh, docker hub because uh, it's uh, uploaded on my docker repository okay so i'm just copying or downloading my uh, image from the docker hub and run a port with the name of my web so it's now created let's see it's uh, running or not so it's running perfectly five seconds ago then we will go for the you know expose command to expose the running services to check the services is working fine or not it's my http image and i have pasted my code in in this image so uh, kubectl expose it's a command to expose the uh, kubernetes over the internet so i'm going to expose my port my port name is 
this and we will go for the port port would be 80 uh, then in, in minus minus node port so it's another uh, topic of uh, kubernetes so expose kubectl export port minus minus port 80 type sorry now you can type come up so it's my web it have been exposed so how can we check it's uh, exposed or not so minikube services you can just copy this link it's a node port actually the node port concept come up here so it's a node port okay so just come on the link copy this link and paste it here so you can see that my page is come up here this is my first web page linux for everyone and my kubectl command is working fine and my uh, cube mini cube installed perfectly thank you guys i hope you all like this video if you are facing any problem you can contact me or comment me uh, anytime uh, thanks guys thank you so much